Hello friends, welcome. My name is Sarveshwar. In this video, we would learn how to estimate Ganja causality test in e-views. So friends, first of all, let me describe the data we would be using for this study. These are the sport and futures prices for the energy index maintained by MCX, the multi-commodity exchange in India. So friends, this is the sport and futures prices. We have two series daily data we are having here and we want to know whether the prices uh, affect each other or not is there any causality in between them when we say Granger causality means can we predict one of the series using the data from another series okay friends if we can predict a series using the lagged values of other series we would say that other series does Granger cause first series okay friends now apply but friends first thing I need to ensure that the prices we are using are stationary since these prices are non-stationary because these are the log prices I have taken here but they are non-stationary so I need to convert them in a stationary by taking their first differences so now you just need to uh, do ADF PP or other tests stationary test just to ensure that price series we are using are stationary for Ganger causality test so I have chosen here two series spot and futures since I know a priori that these two series are non stationary so what I would be doing I would taking their first differences just to check the co-integration the Ganger causality between them I would go to quick menu friends let me show you I would show to Granger causal I would select these two variables spot and futures and then go to quick menu and then I would go to group statistics then I would select Granger causality test okay friends go to quick menu then group statistics and then Granger causality test click OK here since I know these are non stationary series I would be taking their first differences by putting D D means difference similarly for both the series I would be using so what I am doing here this is my difference of energy spot and difference of energy future these are my two series those are stationary and I want to check any causality between them then click OK it would ask me to put the number of lags we need to include here friends we will include the number of lags same for both the variables suppose I put two means I would be including two lags of sport variable and two lags of futures variable okay friends same lag we can't change the number of lags for variables okay click okay now these are the results we are having here with lags two so friends how to interpret these results here if I say the if I say these are the null hypothesis they have mentioned here the first null hypothesis is first difference of energy futures or what can I say here returns or price changes in energy futures doesn't Granger cause the returns of energy spot simply future doesn't lead spot and if I see the F statistics it's very high or uh, the p-value is almost zero it's 0.00253 times and then 5 so we reject the null hypothesis and say future prices does lead spot prices similarly we can have any series the interpretation would be very similar and when we go to the second hypothesis that is returns of spot doesn't lead uh, returns of futures and P, the, the F statistics is very small and the corresponding P value is 0 0.17 which is more than the critical value which is more than the conventional level of P value that is 0 0.05 so we cannot reject the null hypothesis and and infer that spot market or spot prices doesn't lead future prices so overall friends by employing such kind of pairwise Granger causality test what we are suggesting we are simply taking or inferring that future market does lead sport prices but sport prices doesn't lead 
future prices. This is the interpretation from the result. Similar interpretation could be made for the series we use in our research paper. Okay, friend. Uh, thank you very much. In the next video, I would like to show how to select uh, appropriate number of lags to do pairwise Granger causality test because lag selection is very important. The Granger causality tests are very sensitive to the selection of lags and uh, therefore we use VAR Granger causality and uh, VECM Granger causality uh, just to identify the number of lags because there we have some lag length criteria. So we can use AIC or uh, SIC criteria there. Mm. Here we are having F test just to compare there we would be having F test and chi square test as well. Uh, in the next video I will show that as well. If you like my videos friends please subscribe and uh, like my videos to encourage me. Thank you friends. Keep watching.